Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Uh, I decided to make this video because uh, I wanted to show you the how to use two tools to trace uh, uh, curve characteristics of, uh, of triads. Uh, also, how to import them in uh, uh, in Microcap, which became a freeware for uh, like one year, but uh, I did not know it until two weeks. So basically, uh, we are going to, to use a tool that is called PaintKit. Uh, this was developed uh, in Java. And uh, how to import the model that is going to be generated by this tool uh, into, uh, into, micro, into MicroCAP. Um, this, uh, this particular tool is, uh, as I said, developed in Java and it will actually accept uh, an image that would be this one. Um, that is the, the that is the characteristic of the the curve characteristics of the tube. What you can do it's uh, you can take a screenshot and take it as close as possible. So you have the screenshot, uh, and we are going to put it in Paint. Just drag it here and you are going to save it and uh, we are going to save it as uh, I already uh, made some tests so we are going to save it 616p underscore 1 so at this particular moment we have our image of the curve characteristics uh, after that what we are going to do is we are going to load it into this particular tool that is called uh, Paint Kit. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this is done by uh, giving the image file as a parameter to the Paint Kit. So we are going to open a command prompt here, and we are going to issue Java minus jar paint kit jar with 6n6p underscore 1 png and you will see that the image is loaded in the tool then you are going to to match the top right corner and the bottom uh, the top left corner and the bottom uh, right corner with the graph that is overlay over your uh, original image. Then we are going to use we are going to use the data sheet of the tube and uh, create uh, and input the uh, initial uh, characteristics of this particular tube. So uh, what we are going to say is the VG it's starting according to uh, to this graph it's starting from zero. So we are going to input uh, the VG from we are going to input zero. Uh, the decrements are uh, from uh, from two to to two, so you have minus minus four, mi uh, uh, minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight, and so on. So we are going to say two here, and the count is what, how many, how many lines you have on the graph. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are going to say seven here. The voltage plate. Uh, is the maximum voltage plate that is going to be on the graph. So we are going to see this. We have 100, we have 200, and uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 between them. That means each uh, each place is, uh, uh, it's 20 volts. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have uh, 6 times 20 it's 112 uh, it's 120 plus the original 200 is 320 volts that is the <coughs> uh, 
uh, max voltage on the graph, 320 volts. Also, we are going to, uh, to add the IP max, that is the current plate that is also on the graph. So we have 40 milliamps and we have 2.5 per division here. So we have 45 milliamps on the top left corner. So we are going to enter 45 milliamps. Okay, as you can see here, you have 45 milliamps on the top uh, left corner and you have 320 volts on the bottom left corner. Of course, you can actually do it uh, here and uh, put 200 volts, but I like to have uh, the whole graph uh, in front of me. Another uh, thing you'll have to do, it's Pmax in watts. And this info you will also get it from uh, the data sheet, which in our case, and let's uh, see we, uh, where we can find it. Let's see here, not, we have Pmax of 4.88 uh, watts uh, per section, but the Pa for both of anodes, because this is a double triad, uh, it's 8 watts. So you can either uh, put 4.8 here, 4.8 watts or and you will see that the line is matching almost perfectly the one that is uh, available in the uh, original uh, graph and you have 4.8 if you would like to be more conservative you can go with 4 watts because there is a maximum of uh, 8 watts uh, per tube that would mean 4 watts per section uh, after that, you will have to add the maximum uh, amplification, which in our case, the mu is given again in the data sheet. It's 22 plus minus 4. What I like to do is be somewhere in the middle because uh, 22 plus 4 will give us uh, 26 and uh, 22 minus 4 will give us uh, 18. So what I would like to do is uh, stick with the 22 or go a little bit lower like 20. So we are going to the maximum uh, amplification is uh, 22. After that you will have to fiddle a lot until you are going to, uh, to match the blue lines that are here, 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, minus 12, okay? You are going to match those lines with the lines on the graph. So what you can do, as you can see, you can move them, modifying various parameters from the graph. Okay, it will it will take some time to, to actually fiddle around a little bit. And uh, it will take some time to actually uh, get used to, uh, to this. You can also modify the, the, the amplification. And the best way to do it is in uh, small increments, okay? And we will fiddle a little bit with it, and hopefully we are going to able to be able to match those uh, those lines from the graph. Let's see. Uh, it's a little bit of work to do this, but uh, it's way easier than to actually... Ah, we are quite there. You don't have to have an exact, an exact match. Uh, you can you can have some deviations because also this particular graph is not that exact no matter what uh, anyone else would uh, would actually say okay we will 
try to fill a little bit with this. Okay. Modify as you can see we are getting there. Uh, when well I do think that that is good enough okay so as you can see we have matched quite closely the characteristics of the valve that is going to be translated in a spice model uh, let's see if we can actually modify it a little bit more and have it spot on you'll not have uh, you'll not always have it spot on because as I said uh, it's uh, the, the graph is not necessarily that perfect it's printed and uh, okay well I do think that it's good enough to for this for this particular example but my my OCD will will not let me uh, go on that easy. Okay, so we have the graph that is transposed in a mathematical equation and this particular model will be available here and this is the model, the SPICE model, that will actually mimic the uh, characteristics of the tube for each graph line. Okay, basically it's a, it's a mathematical model. You can take this particular model, just uh, select it all, press Ctrl C or uh, copy, and then you can go in your favorite text editor and uh, add it. Just delete the end lines in the first one and save it. And for uh, for um, uh, for having it uh, easier, you can uh, you can also uh, six and six. P dot uh, underline one dot leap. Okay, so we have the six one six p underline one dot leap. At this particular moment, you can see that we have the the uh, the spice model for uh, this particular tube. And after that, we are going to use the micro cap. We are going to use the window component editor. You will see that it's very straightforward. You have add part wizard. Okay. You will choose sub circuit, which is sub C K T. Next, and you are going to browse for the lib file, which in our case is six one six p underscore one. You click open, click next. Okay, the name will be triads underscore six one six uh, and six p underscore one. Okay, you can you can put whatever name you like here, but I will leave it like this. And then you will see that because of the model, uh, the, the symbol was already uh, was already selected. In case your symbol is not already selected, you can go for triad because we are using a triad uh, tube. And what you should check out is in your original mode, uh, in your original lib file, you will get here one, two, three. One, two, three means one, it's plate, two, it's grid, three, it's cattle. You will have to check it out here also. One, it's plate, two, it's grid, three, it's cattle. That's all. You'll have to see that the pin assignment is correct. Uh, enter a memo. I will say it's uh, six n six. Sorry, six n six p. Let's put it under underline one. Next, you are going to select a palette. In uh, in my case, I'm not going to select any. Click next. Assign component name to name. And click finish so you will have your triad here okay click save exit the component editor 
end, you will see that that your newly created part with the uh, with the spice uh, model, you will have it here. If you are going to double click it, if you are going to double click it, you will actually see that the model is uh, is added in the uh, in the uh, spice section. Okay. After this, you can actually use your newly created uh, part to simulate uh, a circuit in MicroCAD. Okay. Not going to do this uh, because it's not the scope of the uh, of the video. What I'm going to uh, what I wanted to sh show you is how to import spice models and how to actually generate uh, spice models using that particular that particular tool. That particular tool it's available free uh, to download. Uh, the the trace tool it's available free for download uh, from the internet. I will post the uh, the link in the video description. So. Uh, Thank you guys for, for watching this. Uh, I hope you, you find it interesting. Uh, this is Dexter from Dexter's Workshop. Uh, and again, thank you for watching this. Bye-bye.